just so close in these trucks and uh, and it puts on such a good show. But it, it was like a chess game rather than a, a motor race out there for us. Just trying to pick the battles down the street and the draft and break it into the corner. So I had, had a lot of fun and big thanks to everyone that stuck around and watched our race and to Continental Tire as well for sticking me in. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Three time Stadium Super Truck Champ, that is Matty Brabham. Finishing up in second place. He was fighting the entire time. Finished up fourth one day ago. We got to get him over here. He's trying to figure out how to get up here. Hey, Mr. Gavin, we need you up here, brother. Come on over here. <clears throat> He's, he might be counting money already. Right? <laughs> He's our reigning champ from one year ago. Had a great race out here. Put your hands together for Gavin Harlan. Driver of the VP Racing Fuels truck and really kind of biding your time there watching those two guys scrap and go at it. And finally, at the end, you had to go last lap. Yeah, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to suck up on uh, Maddie and Robbie. I couldn't get the draft. I was a little slower coming out of those corners. Uh, that last lap, though, once they started battling, I was able to suck up in that turn nine, I believe it is, and got into Maddie a little bit. Would have preferred to pass him totally clean, but last lap, you know how it goes. And stoked to finally get the the VP Racing Fields truck on the box this weekend because yesterday didn't go so well, but depending on how the rest of the season goes, I'm stoked to get some more wins for this truck. Yeah, so things didn't go so well, he finished fourth. So <laughs> way to go, man. Nice, nice job. Put your hands together for Gavin Harlan. And of course, the guy that put on a show here the entire time, he's the mastermind behind this entire thing. The number seven truck, sponsored by Tootsies, comes in here, lighting up the rear tires, always puts on a show. You went out one, a little bit early there yesterday with a very rare, unique moment, and the rear axle giving up there on you, but uh, you came back and put on quite a show today. Ladies and gentlemen, Robbie Gordon. Well, thank you. Yeah, this, um, this track here at Nashville presents very good racing for Stadium Super Truck. We have a, we have a thing that's like reverse arrow. It's so weird. Um, the car in second actually makes more grip in the corner and obviously gets a heck of a toe on these long straightaways. So um, I knew I couldn't be leading on that last lap. So I was like, all right, I really want to stay in the lead, but I kind of got to let him lead so that I could get the draft coming back down shoreline or whatever that is, um, the long one. I'm thinking Long Beach, sorry. But coming across the bridge, um, you know, I, I knew that I had to be second coming across the bridge if I had a shot at him. And, um, you know, the speed is 10 miles an hour faster. So I mean, it's, a, it's a big draft. And I came off the corner good. I got the corner good. I'm like, all right, I got this as long as I don't lock it up in the corners. And uh, obviously it was, a, it was a good race, good race, a lot of fun. Nashville's a great town to come to. Music City Grand Prix, can't say enough about you guys. Thank you for uh, taking the chance on us a couple years ago coming here. And we love this place. We love coming here. Obviously, we got support from uh, from Tootsie's Kid Rock and uh, Jimmy. Jimmy Kelly. So we got three local um, places over here on Broadway that support us. And um, we have a lot of fun. So thank you very much, Nashville. And uh, thank you, fans, for sticking around. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, Robbie Gordon. So race number two finish here one more time. Manny Brabham in third place, Kevin Harlan in second, and Robbie Gordon, your winner. Now let's give away the overall results. We'll start off here in third place. A great run here once again. Finished up in second one day ago. Scrapping hard here today. Definitely used up the hood of that 957. Sponsored by Jimmy Kelly Steakhouse. Put your hands together for Miles Cheek. Congrats, man. A really solid weekend here, bud. Yeah, thank you. It was uh, better than my last couple, but first and foremost, I just got to apologize to Blade. I got into him in turn nine and uh, ended up spinning him around. So he's one of my best buds, too. So I hate doing that, especially to a friend, too. But I kind of try to pride myself on clean driving, and that was a bit uncharacteristic for me. Might not be best friend anymore. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll have to go over there and talk it over with him. But uh, just uh, feel super bad for that. But want to thank everyone from Jimmy Kelly's coming on board for this weekend and uh, couldn't be more pumped for uh, helping them get me a ride and get back out here to the track and thank you to everyone in Nashville. City's awesome. People's awesome. Uh, can't wait to come back. Awesome stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Miles Cheek. Third place overall. We'll hand you a trophy over here from the lovely ladies. Coming up here, finishing second overall. Once again, a solid effort out of this young man. He is so talented at just 15 years of age. He is the son of Robbie. Put your hands together for Max Gordon. Come on over here in the center, man. Let him see you. You're not as tall as Miles is, so we can get you in the, we'll get you in the center. Great job all weekend long, man. You really did some great driving. You had a tough battle going on back there. 
you and uh, and Miles and Stout was back in there, and all of you guys trying to pick your way forward with these two fast guys up in the front. Yeah, you know, uh, I started third to last, and uh, he started right in front of me and uh, fourth, and. Uh, you know, we were, I was trying to follow his pace, but he opened a small hole I couldn't make it through, and I unfortunately got stuck behind Ben a little bit, but he's got some good braking, so um, I couldn't outbreak him, but Miles and Ben got into it, and I finally just swooped both of them at the same time, and then uh, trying to gather it back up to catch these guys, and uh, couldn't get it done here, but second place will do it. A lot of patience, man. You've come a long, long ways in the span of a year. Congratulations, man. Your future, is, your future is very, very bright. We're looking forward to see where you go. Yep, I'd like to thank Continental Tire for the opportunity, and my dad, thank you. Max Gordon, ladies and gentlemen, finishing second overall. And one more time, we saw him just a moment ago as he finished second in the race. Thought he was out of the running, said he was having a tough weekend, finished up fourth. But this is what champions do. They rebound and they keep adding up the points. Your overall winner here, once again, congrats, Gavin Harlan. Yeah, thank you. Like I said, wasn't the perfect weekend, but I'm still surprised to still get first overall. Couldn't have gone better how the first couple days went, so. Yeah, Continental tires were hooked up and VP Racing Fuels truck was on rails. So excited for the rest of the season. So if you hadn't have made that last pass, it would have been a three-way tie and it would have gone back to the finishing positions of this last race. But you made that pass on the last lap. That solidified it. Yeah, I had to make certain. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Put your hands together here one more time for Gavin Harlan and our top three overall, Miles Cheek with a great effort along with Mad Max Gordon and Gavin Harlan. Your stadium super truck overall winners here at the Music City Big Machine Grand Prix. We'll turn things back over there to the booth and Rick Benjamin, plenty of racing yet to go here this weekend. Don't go away.